Trash man. Yeah. <laughs> Well, good morning everybody. Welcome back to another video. We are getting ready to head over to the field. Typical morning routine, you know, get the grease guns out, fill up the combine. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with this uh, camera, but uh, my battery level's like 53% just turned off because I was uh, low a battery. Anyway, yep, we're getting ready to head over to the field, get everything filled up, and then we can start cutting. So maybe, Depending on how everything goes, this might be our last day of cutting beans. Um, I really hope it is because we've got rain moving in tomorrow and it's supposed to rain like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So it would be really nice to finish up beans today and have that all wrapped up before this rain. And then, you know, it's gonna rain, get everything switched over to corn, get everything ready to go and then we can hammer down a corn whenever it dries up. So, if I could paint a picture, that's what I would do, but we never know with the, we never know with the uh, people in charge of the weather. So let's, let's check it right now. Holy cow. Maybe they took the rain out for Tuesday, or sorry, Wednesday. I'm not showing any rain for Wednesday. Well, maybe it'll all work out. Still got rain for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday though. I don't know, we'll see what happens, but. Hopefully we're going to get beans wrapped up today. See what I did yesterday? Yeah. Broke a finger. About full? Oh. Well, I'm going to take the grease gun here and hit the heads. Um, there's a few 10 hour zerks here on this 6 series machine but on the 8 it's all 100 plus grease points so I don't have to hit the machine on that but I will grease uh, both these heads and then a few grease points on this 6 series and I'm going to grease the sickle bar here but it's on this other side. Okay, you're loaded. Hey, where are you going? We gotta, we gotta close the bend lid. We got rain coming. Make sure that tip is cleaned off. Sucker in. Open this valve slowly. Make sure that auger doesn't slam down on the bend. And it didn't. You do want this strap back down, right? I think so, in case we get some winds. Well, let's fire up the 7230. Should always check the oil first. Okay. Is that good right there? Yep, you're good. Come over here and we're going to shut this valve so she don't leak down. So yesterday I broke one of these uh, wind tubes or pipes and I don't have another one like the one I broke so we're gonna have to use this one it's just a little bit shorter no big deal it's probably not gonna do as good of a job but it's gonna do something so some issues with the draper speed draper belt speed on this uh, head it's a valve down there um, that you can turn to, to adjust the speed of the draper belt but it's all the way wide open um, it's got plenty of oil I don't know what else to do um, I mean let's just get through the last little bit of bean acres we have 
with it like this. Although, I mean, sometimes it works okay, but like right now I feel like it's running slower than it should, a lot slower than it should. So, you know, my ground speed is going to slow down a little bit because if I go much faster, the belt, turn on my feed right here, see if I can get her up to like four mile an hour, but I don't know if it'll work because the belt's not going fast enough. I don't like it. It's not going fast enough, so there's quite a bit of beans that get bunched up there going across the belt. And yeah. So that newer head, uh, it's got a switch, like one through, I don't even know how many numbers, 10? You can really crank up the speed of the Draper belt. Um, so it's pretty handy that's got that. Uh, I mean, you can, you can get that Draper belt moving pretty fast, but. Yeah, this one's the old valve, and I feel like we had some problems with last year too, but look at that. Look at how slow that's going. Alrighty folks, oops, parking brake. About a dollar for every time um, I got back in the cab and forgot to take the parking brake off. Um, well, I went down there and screwed with the valve, just back and forth, back and forth, and she's spinning a lot faster than it was, so. All right, Dad, shut her down. Let Jeff get a little switch through so I get empty. You're loaded. I'm full, you're saying? Yep. Yep, you're full. Well, we're done here, so unloading the combine, about to drop the head off on the cart and get out of here. All right, you're good right there. You know, hooking up to a header is just something I gotta use both hands for, so I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys down. Unless I can do this without the camera falling. Oh, Grandpa needs a little assistance down there. really come prepared enough I guess because uh, I ran out of juice my camera and the batteries I had with me were not fully charged so um, yeah we actually are just about done with this field uh, and we got a couple more rounds left to do and then we'll be on our last field of soybeans I don't think we're gonna be able to finish it up tonight but we could be close so um, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, uh, maybe around noon or so. So, man, it'd be super nice if we don't if we don't finish tonight. We get up in the morning, start cutting fairly early, and get it wrapped up right before the rain. Just get the beans done before the rain. That would be fantastic. Yeah, I'll get the rest. I can take that off and head over there. Ten four. Well, folks, it's the last field of soybeans. Um, got a little bit later start because I actually pulled in this field and uh, I had a bad hydraulic hose on the right side track. So I ran up to Berkey's and they got me a new hose, but that was a little while ago. So we're rolling now and last field of soybeans, 2023. So it feels pretty good. We're ready to get these soybeans done. Well, that's it for today. Everything's full. We've got probably 30 acres left of this field. Last field of beans, so I guess we'll uh, park them and see what tomorrow brings. Hopefully we can get this finished off in the morning before, uh, before some rain moves in. Well, we got 30 acres left here, folks. We're getting ready to start in. It's almost 10 o'clock. Um, and it's still kind of damp. Uh, there was dew last night. Sun hasn't been out, and there's not How much of a breeze. We say we needed, Jeff. Just two more loads. Um, uh, 
But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and try and cut these things. We got 30 acres left, get this wrapped up, and then we'll be on to corn. So they've been pushing the rain back that was forecasted for today. So I really don't know if it's actually gonna rain today or not, but the radar shows it's kind of disappearing. So that's kind of good because yeah, kind of good. That's really good because we really don't want to rain at all. We just want to get going. I got to open my grain tank here before I start the uh, process of uh, cutting beans. Anything else I got to do? iPad screwed up. Turn that thing off. I'm turn it back on. Uh, grain tank's open. Now I got to wait a little bit to grab a GPS signal here. Pro 700's little angry this morning it sounds like but yep we're getting everything set up here guidance on yep all right I broke a sickle guard and of course um, I don't have another one just like it on here so you can see this one this is a new one see there's a little lip right there uh, the one I broke goes on towards the end of the uh, draper head and there's no lip so don't have another one like that on the combine so I'm gonna go to the farm and hopefully we got one there all right we got her fixed we're rolling well the sun's shining so looks like we're gonna get this one finished I'm making my last round here and I think Dad's maybe got uh, a round and a through over there, or a couple rounds. I don't know. We're just about done. So, looks like we're going to get the beans wrapped up before any rain moves in. And they keep throwing it all over the place with the forecast um, starting in. It was cloudy. It didn't show anything. But now it's showing a 50% chance at noon, which is in 30 minutes. And then no more rain. It's showing rain for Friday. They used to have rain for Saturday, so I don't think anybody knows when the rain's gonna come. Um, so we won't know until it's actually raining. The radar doesn't even show anything. Just I think it's just scattered storms popping up all over the place. Alrighty. Well, let the fun begin. Time to take this thing over to the uh, the blower, get this thing all blown off, and then we can put a corn head on this thing. What a good feeling. It's always a great feeling to get beans wrapped up. Um, so now it's time to blow this baby off, get her cleaned out, and start hammering down on some corn. All right, let's go do some corn. It all worked out. well, time to do a check behind the machine monitor shows I'm doing a good job so let's see it uh, with our own eyes hardly any kernels on the ground here right behind the machine there's one there's two that's about it oh yeah it's looking good let's check for a little rotor loss yep well, I better look at the cobs. Hope my concave up a little bit. Wanted to make sure I'm getting all the corn off the cobs, which it looks like I am. So we're in good shape. Hammer down. Need more trucks. We're waiting. Alrighty. Well, we got that field done. We're back at the farm. Um, I dropped the head off on the cart because. Uh, we gonna need that to be transported on the cart for the field we're going to in the morning. But back at the farm, um, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this combine up with def and fuel, blow out the filter, and then I'm heading home. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.